Lightspeed is back in the open pace and will be challenged by Valet's newcomer and last week's winner, Aladdin. Irresistible races for four in a row, however, is in tough against Gagnon's DA Temptation and Howmack Victor. Ice cream on a length and a half lead. Here comes Watcher Go advancing up on the outside. Midnight Maddie is right there from third. Then stay true and Placier as they turn at the top of the lane. Godiva Ice Cream with a two length lead coming for the wire. Godiva Ice Cream is going to win this one. Eased up in the end. Watcher go second, Midnight Maddie third in 156 and four. To catch the winner of race one, Godiva Ice Cream. A Bay Philly, three years old by Shadow Play out of the American Ideal Mare, Apple Pie Angel. Raymond Larose is the winning owner, trained and driven to victory by Guy Gagnon. Godiva Ice Cream in 156 and 4, a new lifetime record. 28, 59, 127 and 3, the mile 156 and 4. Asking for drivers to stay to the inside along the rail. Stonebridge Hermes by two on Stonebridge Beach, getting around that fallen horse safely. Stonebridge Hermes by two on Stonebridge Beach. Stonebridge Hermes trying to see it through, and he's going to. Stonebridge Hermes in front. Finishing second, Stonebridge Beach. Tight for show, the mile 153 and two in an accident marred second race. Here comes the winner, number two, Stonebridge Hermes. He's a four year old son of betting line out of the Arts Place Mare Glacier Express, Jacques Baudouin, the winning owner, trainer, and driver, closing in on 5,000 career wins. Stonebridge Hermes, his fourth win of the year, 153 and two, 27, 56, 123, and two, the mile 153 and two fifths. Coming for the payoff, it's still what's in the Esky. What's in the Esky is trying to see it through, and he gets there and delivers. In 154 and 2, a 24 to 1. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Sebastian Blay. Out into the winner's circle to catch the winner of the third, 24 to one shot, what's in the Esky? A bay gelding, nine years old by Western Edition, out of the Rustler Hanover Mare, Rustlin' a Kiss, owned and trained by Melanie Plourd, driven to victory by Stefan Pouliot. What's in the Esky, 154 and two, 28, 57, 124 and four, the mile, 154 and two fifths. Work on the light speed. He's all in now and needs to find a length and a half. And he's toiling with mediocrity tonight as they come for the top of the lane. Shotgun Jerry is right there. Aladdin, the one to chase down. Aladdin looks strong. The light speed is charging, but is it too late? Time is running out. Aladdin, five in a row. Brasso takes it over the light speed. And Shotgun Jerry in 151 and three. Guy Corbet is the winning breeder and owner, trained by Maxime Vallée, driven to victory by Stéphane Brasso. Aladdin to his fifth consecutive win. Tonight's mile of 151 and three, a new lifetime record. 26 and one, 55 and two. 123 and one, the mile 151 and three-fifths on the 61st anniversary here at Rito Carlton. Three quarters, 124 and two. On the final turn, the midnight train is putting in a huge effort. Phantom Anjois is back to second. Langley Sealster in third, double gum in fourth. On the outside comes Keystone Doral and Street Art coming for the payoff. Here comes the Midnight Train. Upset minded and flying Ryan is going to execute in the fifth. Phantom Ajois, no response second. Langley Sealster third, 153 and three. Five years old, three years old by He's Watching. 
out of the Shadow Play Mare, Salzbrook Flicka. Kyle Forgy, the winning owner trainer, driven to victory by Ryan Guy. The Mig Midnight Train now with a huge new lifetime record of 153 and 3. Them out a long, long way on the lead. Always your way is in with a shot from second. And Jimmy Gagnon pulls him to the outside with an eighth of a mile to go. Here comes Always Your Way with a powerful move out of the two hole. He cruises right on by to win it. Always Your Way by three in the end. Tight for place, the mile 155. Number two, Always Your Way, 10 year old. Son of Always a Virgin, out of the Artiscape Mare, Penny Arcade. Winning trainer, Jamie Johnston, shares ownership with Sonia Johnston. And it was Jimmy Gagnon, the winning driver. That 155 mile is his season's record. 27 and 3, 57 and 2, 125 and 2. The mile, 155 flat. And from second on the outside, Levin with a smile is right there. Carly Lane is winding up, so is my Bitcoin with an eighth of a mile to go. And he won of five turning for home. And in the middle of the racetrack, here comes my Bitcoin. Up the inside, Robbie Robinson Levin with a smile. And the rocket comes on past to win it. My Bitcoin was second, then watch his strikes fame third in 157 and two. A smile. A Bay Philly, two years old, by Shadow Play. Out of the Blissful Hall Mare, NF Salsa. Winning trainer, Gavin Christie, shares ownership with William Beecham. Back-to-back -back wins, well driven to victory by the Rocket, Robbie Robinson. Levin with a smile in 157-2. 27-2, 56 and 4, 126 and 4. Impressive Philly in 157-2. and two. Ari is by five lengths and all off on his own. La Barbe is making it up to second on the outside. Milo Minute is back to third. There is Well Beach Roller coming for the wire. It's Lou Lou Amari by five comfortable lengths. Cruising for the finish. Lou Lou Amari makes it back to back. Beach Roller on to be second. Looks like Mile O Minute tried to hold off La Barbe in 156 and 2. Here comes the winner of race 8, number 5, Lulu Amari. A big gelding, three years old by American Ideal, out of the Sweet Lou Mare, Sweet Lulu. John Hopkins, the winning owner, trained by Mandy Archer. Driven to victory by Guy Gagnon, 156 and 2 time for the mile. 28 and 3, 58, 126 and 2, the mile, 156 and 2. Two by three quarters in 125 and 3. John Snow by two lengths on late night dealer. Here comes Pretty Diva with a nice move. Third on the outside in the center and self isolation from way back. Coming for the payoff on a two length lead, John Snow down the center, late night dealer, but John Snow is resilient and unwavering in victory by three. Late night dealer second, Pretty Diva third, JK LMNO fourth and 155. 125 and 3, the mile 155 flat. It is irresistible. Too much for walk off Z Tam from the backfield DA Temptation, but it's better on the island. Coming to the wire in front by three, but charging on the outside is irresistible. Time's running out. Better on the island. Holding on. Irresistible second. Finishing third. 
Hal McVictor in 152 and 4, impressive in victory. On this filly, that's a mile of 152 and 4. How impressive for one that comes off your own farm. Fractions of 27, 55 and 4, 123 and 3, the mile 152 and 4. And there's Alex Scott right there in the winner's circle. Deserves some congratulations for his longevity in this sport and his hard work on the farm as well. What a great filly, 152 and 4, better on the island. Any at 11 to 1. Shepard has taken over the lead as they turn at the top of the lane. Little Manny disposes of Make It Come True. Wrangler Cash is up on the outside. Little Manny is clear and sprinting away. It's all Little Manny at 11 to 1 in the finale. Instantaneous nailed second and third time to dancing over thrilling times and Wrangler Cash 153 and Four. Owned by Michel Letarte and Jean Allaire. Trained by Mandy Archer. Driven to victory by Robert Shepard. Little Manny to victory in a life's best. 153 and 4. 27 and 2. 57, 125 and 3. The mile 153 and 4 fifths. Aladdin humbles the light speed in a lifetime best 151 and 3. Live racing resumes Thursday, first post, 4 o'clock.